In this video, I'll show you how to port forward a Minecraft server. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. And once you have, please go and consider leaving a like as well, as I really do appreciate it and it helps get this video to more people. And please do watch this video right until the end and do just be patient with this tutorial because it is a bit complicated what we're trying to do, but hopefully it's gonna help you. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments and hopefully me or somebody else may be able to go and help you answer them. So any further ado, let's go and jump into this. Now let's go and continue with this tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is go to the folder where your server is kept. So if you saw my previous guide on creating the server, on your desktop, you're gonna go and have a folder called server. So you want to simply go and double click on it. And then once you're here, as you can see, you've got all of this list here. And all you want to do is find server.properties, click on it. You may need to right click on it and go and click open or open with. And then you want to make sure you go and select notepad, press okay. And then it's gonna go and bring this up here. So then what you want to do is go and find server port. So as you can see, mine is down here. So what you want to do is find this. I'm gonna go and copy it. So I'm gonna highlight it, right click and go and click copy. Then we can close off here and we can close off this folder. So the next one we need to do is go and change our Windows firewall settings to go and allow this port to be used on our internet connection on our computer. So to do that, come to the bottom left, we've got the search icon and click here. And all you want to do is search Windows um, Defender Firewall with advanced security, this is what we want. So go and click here and then it's gonna go and open it up. As you can see, here we go. So what you want to do is find inbound rules. So click here. And what we have to do is you do this for inbound rules and outbound rules, but I'll show you exactly how to do that. So go and click on inbound rules to start with, then come over here and click on new rule. And then it's gonna go and bring this pop up here. So you want to go and select port, and then you want to go and click next. And then we're gonna do one for TCP. And then afterwards we do the exact same process for UDP, but do keep watching. So make sure TCP selected. And then for specific local ports, we're gonna go and paste it in. So we wanted 25565, then go and click next. Um, and you want to make sure allow the connection is selected. And then profile, you want all of these selected and then go and click next. We then go and do a name. So I'm gonna go and name this Minecraft server, just like so, and then go and press finish. And then I'm gonna go and repeat the process. I'm gonna go and click new rule again. And then we want to make sure UDP is selected and then go and paste in the port once again. I'm gonna click next and then make sure allow the connection is selected. Make sure all of these are selected and then we can go and name this again. And then we need to go and do the exact same thing but for the outbound rule. So let's go and click on outbound and then go and click on new rule. And then we need to go and do the same thing. So make sure port is selected, click on TCP, go and paste in the port just like so. And then we go and do the action and make sure you click allow the connection, of course, and then go and click next. All of these selected and then go click next and we go and name it. And then we're going to go and do it again. So click new rule and the outbound rules, go and click port. And then we're going to go and click on UDP and go and paste in the port, then go and click next. And for the action, make sure you click allow the connection. And then for profile, all of them selected, click next. And then we go and name this once again. So then once you've done that, we can now go and close off the Windows firewall. So the next thing we actually need to do is go to our router. So to do this, go and open up our web browser. I'm personally using Google Chrome, so I'm just gonna resize this so it's suitable for the screen recorder. But what we need to do is, is go into our router. So to do that, on the back of your router, it's probably gonna have a card or something that's gonna give you an IP address to type in to go and get your router settings. But commonly, it's also known as 192.168.1.1. Um, that's sort of the common one, but yours may be different. So make sure you do check yours out. If you don't have it on the back of your router, you can Google your router sort of brand name and then do like default IP or something like that. So I'm gonna go and press enter and it's gonna go and take me to my router login. As you can see, it's now loading. You may have to go and log in and mine has actually taken me straight to it. And then once you're here, we need to go and locate port forwarding. Now, every router is gonna be slightly different, so it may be useful looking in your router hand guide, but usually it's under the sort of the advanced section. Personally, on my Zyxel router, it's in the network setting and then you need to go to NAT and then we're gonna take us to the port forwarding section. So once we're here, we can then go and click on add and we can go and start adding this new rule for the port forwarding. So as you can see, we have to name this service. So I'm gonna go and type in Minecraft, just like so. And then for the WAN interface, I'm gonna keep it on ADSL. For the WAN IP, to go and find this, you need to simply go and Google what's my IP. And then it's gonna go and give you this box and it's gonna say your public IP. Now, of course, I've hidden mine because it's my personal IP and make sure you be very careful with who you should share your IP with as it can be quite dangerous to share your IP. So then I'm gonna go and paste it in 
and then for the trigger start port what you want to do is go and actually go and paste in the port that we found in our minecraft server so i'm going to go and paste that in there and then for the translation port i'm going to do the same thing and then for where it says server IP address, to go and find this, we need to go and open up command prompt. So come to your search and simply go and type CMD, just like so, press enter, and we're gonna go and get this pop up here. And all you want to do is type in IP config, just like so. I'm gonna to have to blur a lot of this, but what you want to go and look for is the IPv4 address. And as you can see here, it is minus 192.168.125. The ending's really important. As you can see, my, um router has already got the default start. I just need to add the end bit, which is two, five. So I'm gonna go and type that in just like so. And then for the protocol, this needs to be TCP slash UDP. If you did remember when we were actually first doing this, we set the inbound and outbound rules both for TCP and UDP. So then depending on what router you have, make sure active is selected and then go press okay. And let's go and go and try and join the server in Minecraft. So guys, here I am in Minecraft. So to go and join our own server, all you want to do is click add server and because we're on our own computer you can simply go and type local host but if you're going to go and get your friends to join then all you need to do is share that ip that we found a minute ago when you google what's my ip you then give your friends that ip they can type that into minecraft in the server address section and they can go and join your server and make sure the, the port is default which it should be as i showed in this video and that's literally it you can get done just like so so we can go and simply go and double click on it, it's in logging in, and here we go. And as I said earlier, to go and get your friends to join, you then need to go and make sure they have your IP address, but make sure you do trust them because the IP address can be used very, very dangerously. So just make sure that you understand the risk of sharing your IP address. And you just need to give them the IP address because you've kept the, the port default as I did in this video. So if you follow the steps is shown in this video, you don't need to basically send your friends your port because you probably haven't customized it. But, but if you have, make sure you do send them the port. But that's literally it guys, you know, you can go and then Port Forward allows you to go and get your friends to join your server. If they aren't in your own network, in your own LAN, it puts it onto the WAN. And uh, yeah, it's really, really cool. And of course, you can do so much more with this. On the server, you could go and upload like a mini games map. And then you could go and get your friends to join that and do loads of awesome stuff with it. And if you want to see more Minecraft tutorials on this channel as well, please do go down below and hit the subscribe button and leave a like so you're kept up to date. And if there's any specific ideas you want to see as well, that's also really helpful because it allows me to, to see what people want to watch and uh, what they're going to find helpful. So do tell me that below in the comments as well. Um, and that's sort of the best way to get in contact. And yeah, it doesn't just have to be Minecraft as well. It can be any idea of uh, what content you want to see. And also make sure you do press one of the videos on the, the screen right now. And have a very, very awesome day. Like and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Peace.